nothing. I don't even make that in a year. You're listening to the We Live Missions podcast, where we encourage and inspire students to go, give, pray, and welcome every day in response to the Great Commission. In this episode, we discuss why every student gives, featuring an interview from Chi Alpha's Feed One Collegiate Coordinators, Tom Trask II and his wife, Missy. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the We Live Missions podcast. My name is Nathan. I'm Cara Berry. Marquis Martin. Andy Estrella. And since everybody else put their last name out there, I'll just put my whole name. This is Ira Nathan Cole. Oh, I, what? Your first name is Ira? My first name is Ira. Man, learning. No, no way. I know. For real. I'm going to have to pull out my wallet and show you guys. It's Ira. true. It's my That's grandfather's like a computer name. computer system, man. <laughs> it's Can also a retirement plan. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. An IRA. It's yeah, from my grandfather, and so it means fully grown. Mm. Or Watchmen, so I haven't fulfilled either one of those yet. But <laughs> Working I'm doing on my it. best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Promises. I love when people call me. They're like, "Is Mrs. Ira Cole there?" I'm like, "Dude, <laughs> <laughs> that's good." Anyway, that's good. today we're actually getting to know our cast a little better, and we're gonna start with Andy and Dizzle. Yeah. Mick Swizzle. We're excited Yo. to get to know uh, Andy today. House. Well, um, I am originally from Long Island, New York. New York. Uh, yep. Born and raised there. Got radically saved when I was 13 and uh, eventually went to Springfield, Missouri to go to Central Bible College, which uh, since has merged with Evangel yeah. University. So I uh, eventually got married to uh, my hottie, my wife, <laughs> there it is. Uh, Candace, uh, and she's all, she's from Arkansas. I'm from New Man. York. The way Dang. I say it, like... Uh, when I when I go to churches, right, I, I bust this joke right here. I'll be like, "Yo, I had high standards." Mm-hmm. When I was getting, when I was looking for my rib, how we say, <laughs> when I was looking for my rib, spare rib, that's it. That's in New York. Um, I was I had high standards. Thank God, uh, my wife had low standards, so it works out really well, <laughs> right? So she's awesome. We have two, three, nice. now, three. Uh, baby girls and uh, we uh, love it. God's called me to do Chi Alpha to work with college students, but He's also called me to be a dean of women. Wow. That I run a women's dorm, uh, and I get lots of hugs and kisses and give them out like crazy. So, booyah! Yes. So Andy, we need we need to get a laugh out of you. Andy's an incredibly funny guy. So could you just tell the audience, the people listening, about? Um, a funny story that might have happened over fall retreats oh, with you. Dude. This is going to be a good one. Good. Wow, that went one. Down. Y'all blasted me. Is this recent? Me. This is very recent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. Uh, it was a fall retreat. And, um, you know, I'm I'm always filming with my phone just to have footage to, you know, post on social media or videos for next year. So uh, I'm I'm doing a, a, a crowd shot of, of everybody. Everybody's cheering. <laughs> and I could have, you know, I... I scan the crowd, scan back, mm-hmm. I go back and I it's done. I got the footage I need, but I try to go a little extra. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, I'm gonna get up in this crowd and I'm gonna hype people up. We're gonna yeah. be jumping, get this footage. I had my slow-mo on, <laughs> right? So I'll be getting that slow-mo of people. Dude, I was ready. So I start getting up in the crowd, which was again, unplanned, right? So I get in the crowd, what little did I know, there was a, a tub because we do the shaving cream Olympics, mm-hmm. right? And it was about to happen. So it was a tub. I love this. Of yep. Yep. Cans yep. of shaving cream. Come well, on. Yep. That, I come up in that tub and I, I didn't see it. So I try <laughs> to step over it. And boy, your boy, while filming, you just see the footage. Slow motion. Me hitting. So then I try to like maneuver and try to like film on the way down. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't you know did. Happening. No. And I didn't. That's, right? yeah, that's too strategic. Way, my face bounced off. The yeah, there was no hands involved. Boy, yes. It was like, you. it's those moments when your face hits the ground and then you're like, yo, I thought up my nose busted. Yep. Yeah. And I was bleeding. So I didn't want to pop up with like blood. I thought I was. Uh, I thought I was. Guys, it's in front of everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this I was a show up for the whole ministry. And like blood gushing everywhere. So yeah. I, at first I just laid down. I was like, he just laid I checked my nose. I was like, I'm good. I got up. And I literally he said, I was like, bro, I fell hardcore. That's yeah. like the first thing that came yeah. out my mouth. And dude, people clown on me full You'll time. You'll never. On, on the video never for our you. retreat. The last thing that people see is me, me straight calling. Biffin yep. it yep. in front of everybody. Bro. Baptisms to Andy Biffin it. That yes, was the last great, great way so to finish the yes, cry. Yeah. And then you, see, and then you just see Andy eating it. Andy, the best part about it was 
It wasn't like it was some hidden thing, you know, inside joke. We're saying it was in front of the entire ministry. The, whole ministry. the very the whole team. highest point Everybody of spotted me. Whop. Straight. Yes. And the crowd is silent. And then when he gets back up, the cheers just erupt. Yeah, everybody insane. just cheered. Every student gives Andy Heck for fall. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, every student gives. Oh, that's, that's our right. topic today, Marcus. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, guys, you know, we as followers of Christ, we as Kai Alphans, we understand the value of giving. We want every student to be involved in giving of what they have. So we're just going to go into a little bit of discussion about it. And Kara Barry, why don't you lead us off? Can you tell us why giving is such an integral part of your life and why it's important to you? Yeah. So I think I shared in a previous episode that I'm a CMIT, um, a campus missionary in training and an intern at Missouri State. And I think as a student, before I started the internship, I didn't really have a clear understanding of what giving meant to me. I don't think it was personalized. So Mm -hmm. um, I had been in a lot of situations where I like had opportunities to give to things I was passionate about, Mm -hmm. like, um, feed one or different agriculture things. Mm -hmm. And, but it didn't make it personal, like having a personal missionary to support or a personal cause. And I think giving is personal. I think it takes over saying that I care about this mission that you're invested in. I care about what you're doing. And I know that the Lord is moving through you. And I feel like that's something kind of as all college students, like, we all kind of feel that struggle of making it kind of a personal experience yeah. for us. Nathan, your biblical knowledge just brings such joy to my heart. So how would you wrap this in in kind of a biblical perspective? Why is giving important? Yeah, great question. I think it's in the whole of scripture, but the first thing I think of is just the model of Jesus, which yes. is like, he Easy. gave everything. I mean, yes. you could look at a ton of passages, John one, he, you know, the word became flesh and dwelled among us. So that idea that he incarnated himself, like he gave up everything. A great passage is Philippians two, that doctrine of kenosis, which just means he emptied himself. He who mm. knew everything became nothing um, so that we might become the righteousness of God. Uh, so if Jesus could give his life, how much more should we give? Wow. Yeah. Like, wow. You know. And even we're, we're created in the image of God. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, when, when we embody that, when we truly walk that out, we don't walk this earth to see what can we take from it, but we walk this earth like Jesus did to see what we can give to it, give of ourselves, yeah. of our time. You can't interact with the elements of God, grace, peace, kindness without the element of giving. Sure. So yeah. good. I'm just curious what you guys think and how students actually live this out. Cause it's one thing to like acknowledge these truths about yeah. why we should give. But I think this idea of slacktivism, are you familiar with that term Mm-mm. that students and, you know, upcoming millennials, we, we like to just click like on things and like, we yeah. feel like mm. we've done our job in yeah. terms of social justice or whatever. What's particular the term again? Say that? Slacktivism. Yo, it wow. sounds like it will pop up in a hip hop video. Yeah. yeah let's see if Siri can help us. Yo. Define slacktivism. Collectivism means uh, uh, close oh, enough. Nope. <laughs> so no. it's just this idea of like you know, we we like to just click on things, and it's as if we've done our duty. Yeah, you know, so we actually yeah. slack in terms of actual general giving. It can be way yeah. less. What do you guys think about that? I'd have to say it's so easy for us to neglect biblical habits, to be selective, mm-hmm. to. Um, not take initiative early on. Like it's so easy for us as a college student to be in uh, 16, 19 credit hours, however many you have, to be in Chi Alpha, to be in whatever student organizations you're in and say, okay, um, I'm working a job, I'm paying my bills, but I'm gonna start giving later. I'm gonna start giving when I graduate. I'll start giving when I get married. I'll start Mm -hmm. giving when I have, when my kids are older, I'll, I'll start giving. And like, there's so many excuses and you can get wound up in that to the point where you haven't given. And we should be comfortable in in the things of God to push ourselves to, in a sense, uncomfortability. Like be kind to people to a point that it's a little uncomfortable for us. Like, mm, yeah. Yeah. And likewise with giving, like if we're gonna lean somewhere, we let's give that it's uncomfortable. It's like, man, I don't, like this, this is stretching me. This is an area where um, I think s- stretching is allowed. It is, uh, yeah. uh, it's encouraged. it should be invited mm-hmm. to do that. Like we should, uncomfortable giving should be a part of, 
what we do. I'm just so reminded of that story of Jesus standing in the temple mm-hmm. and that they're given money and there's the rich pompous man who, you know, gives a bunch. Yeah. And there's the poor widow who comes up yeah. with just the one cent puts in who gave more in this moment. Yeah. And just, I feel like for us as college students, the most valuable thing we have is our time and our money. Yep. That's, that's our greatest expenditures. And we like to build our faith upon the cheap foundations, going to stuff, even going to yeah. Chi Alpha, doing the little things. But when we truly give of the two most expensive things in our life, I think we start walking in what it really means to be all in. That's so good. And we've talked some about the finance side of it a little bit, but let's talk about the time because I yeah. think, you know, the gift of inconvenience can be mm-hmm. really, really hard when you have a jam packed schedule and you got a class and you got yep. homework mm-hmm. assignments. And then one of the guys in your D group, your discipleship small group, yep. or one of your ladies, you know, Careberry, how do you balance that? You know, when yeah. people come to you and they need your time, but you know, you have all these plans. Yeah. You just think about, are you prioritizing a relationship? Or are you pr- prioritizing a task? I think about wow. Jesus when he was walking through the crowds, yep. he was inconvenienced yep. so many times right. when wow. um, the woman with the issue of the blood, whenever she reached out to him in mm. that scenario, she he stopped. He stopped and acknowledged mm. her. He stopped That's and good. engaged with her. And are we people who are easily... Um, able to stop and engage. Wow. I yeah. love that. Mm-hmm. That's and good. I think about the fruit of prioritizing a task over the fruit of prioritizing a person. Like take wow. a moment to think about a time where you prioritize a task over a person and what wow. fruit you actually gained from that. Whoa. What fruit KB. did you actually gain? Preach it, Care Barry. K B coming in hot. And that is so good. You know, if, in John so fifteen good. it talks about, you know, biting in the vine, the word fruit from the perspective of John is always a disciple. Wow. So it's right in line with what you're saying wow. from a biblical perspective, you know, that actually this is how you prove that you're my disciples, how you love one another. And and the abiding in Jesus, the fruit that it produces is not like more success in ministry numerically or whatever. It's actually making disciples. That's right. Wow. So there you yeah. go. Every student gives Andy heck. I hope we can yeah. post that video <laughs> in the show notes. Oh, wow. Um, so dude. that everyone can enjoy nationwide, it. every student Yo, gives yeah, Andy heck. Yo, biffed. Yep. Biffed for Jesus. Thanks for being so giving with your embarrassing story. Yep. True. Hey, dude, wow. there's many, man. Yeah. You know, it's overflowing, my friend. <laughs> it's overflowing. Not looking forward to my embarrassing story sharing Ooh, next episode. We can't wait. So we can't wait. Hope you guys forget about that. But uh, we actually want to jump out to an interview with our Feed One specialist for National Chi Alpha, Tom and Missy Trout. Let's go, oh, let's go Tom and Missy. The Mizzou. second best school in Missouri. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Missouri, for real. Yeah, they're good. Great second. M-I-Z. Great second. <laughs> And uh, Tom is just incredible. Their Chi Alpha, you're going to hear in this interview, has given crazy amounts yes. of money yeah. to support wow. our national compassion partner, which is Feed One. Yes. And if you don't know about Feed One, it's amazing. Um, you can actually feed a kid for $10 a month. That's right. Yep. Which is crazy. I've seen it in Haiti. I've seen it in El Salvador. I was recently in El Salvador with Feed One and Tom, and I found out that they have only 20 staff in the country and they're feeding over 50,000 kids oh, Monday through Friday because they work all through volunteers and the local church wow, and through schools. Right. I mean, it's just amazing local partnerships and they're really building on sustainability. And so I know that's a passion, you know, for you guys as students. Oh, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. yeah, absolutely. Yep. So let's go ahead and jump into the interview with Tom and Missy yes. and learn one of the ways that students can give Missy back. and Tommy time. And after that, we're coming back for a game. Yes. That's going to be a good game one. time. KB's going down. Too often people narrowly think about giving as just money or what they have in their their pockets at the moment. A lot of times we encourage our students to go beyond the obvious and look at other aspects of their life. Um, we, in our messages, we talk about that. We want our students to give of their, their time, their talents, and their treasures to the Lord. And this helps these students to go beyond the obvious and look at different other areas of their lives the Lord has also given to them in those things and how can they in turn give back to the Lord. And uh, Missy has a great story of how our students have done that over the years. We have a small group that they had all become ambassadors for Feed One. So they were all on their own giving 
of themselves and everything that they had. And then they came together and they're like, we have to do more. We need to do more. We can't just leave it that we're personally giving. So what do we have? And they realized, I don't have more money to give. Like I've, I'm tapped out. And so what can I do? And so they were like, we have time. Like over the next week, we have time. And so honestly, it was going to be kind of cool um, temperatures in that because it was during our feed one month, which is November. And so it's going to be kind of cold. And so they actually camped out in speaker circle for three days and they set up a board and they put little boxes that said they labeled them one to 120. Um, and they challenged people as they came by to help us feed children, help us eradicate world, you know, childhood hunger. And they actually raised three, almost $3,000 in three days. And so they didn't have extra in their pockets to give, but what they did have, they laid it at the Lord's feet and he blessed it exponentially. Um, and it was amazing to see that happen. And it encouraged them and it encouraged other students to say, Hey, you know, what can I do beyond just money? What can I do for the kingdom? I've never once encouraged a student to step out and to do something and to give and seen the Lord leave them hanging. You know, like when they and they realize that if I give the Lord off the top and not at the very end, if I give him off the top and say, this is never mine, this, you know, 10 percent at least is always his, um, they can everything else just goes so much further. A really great example is Elizabeth Carrs in our ministry where she had given and given and given and felt like she had no more to give. And she was sitting at Winter Conference and they did the whole, we're going to give to feed one and have the offering and do the whole thing. And so um, she felt the Lord prompting her and put a very specific and quite large number in her heart. And she was like, I don't have that. Like, I know my bank account. I can't swipe that tonight. Like it will not go. And the Lord said, you know, why don't you check your account? You know, she just felt prompted to do that. And when she looked at her bank account, the exact number that the Holy Spirit had put in her heart to give had been deposited that day into her account randomly by a family member. And so she's like, Lord, you are so good because even before you asked me to give this, you were already behind the scenes working. I like King David. He, he recognized in his life that everything that he had come, came from the Lord. And so it wasn't so much him sacrificing to give to the Lord. He was just giving back what already belonged to him. He also, you know, he realized that we're just here for a moment. We're just temporary. And to be a part of the eternal, to be a part of the Lord and his kingdom, we need to give to it. Because when we give what we've given, we become a part of something that's here long after we're gone. The Lord wants to do great things through us, and I believe that a lot of it begins with giving. Fire interview. But what, what Feed One does is creates a, a venue. Like, if you think about it, if we didn't have organizations like Feed One, mm -hmm. and you wanted to help a child in an, in another country, what would you do? Where would you start? Right. How would you get yeah. it there? And organizations like Feed One has said, "Hey, we're gonna go and we're gonna set up something where." we can then get behind that. Yeah. Yep. So they set it up and it's our job to get behind. And that's why I think our, you know, our, that's what as students we should do is get behind stuff that it, that are doing stuff out there. Feed one, um, you know, our local Chi Alpha is this, you know, that's what mm -hmm. we do mission trips. We go get, connect with a missionary, get behind what they're doing there. And it, I think it's an incredible cause. So I love it. Let's go. Let's play a game. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, so here's the deal. We are looking up some stats, and uh, we're going to do some prices right. If 
you're not familiar with what Price Right? It was a show in America a long time ago. Long time and, ago. And um, basically, it says either you get it right on the number or um, you can do less than the number. But if you go over, so let's say the, the number is 100 and you say 120, you you're have gone. gone over and you automatically lost. If you Ooh. both go over, if you both go over, then Marcus the wins. one no, <laughs> no the no, one no, who no, gets no. the closest will win okay, okay. Gotcha. but um so everybody understand the rules okay yeah, so americans spend approximately how much a year on coffee Wait, how wait, much wait. do you spend you a year over. on coffee like average America american how much oh, does an average Lord. american in the mm. the US spent a year on coffee. Five hundred and sixty seven dollars. Mm. I'm thinking that pumpkin spice latte season throws this number off quite a bit. Five hundred and sixty seven PSL life dollars. does up okay. the average. What are you saying, Araberry? Well, Kara, aka. I'd say eight hundred and sixty three dollars and twenty five cents. Eight hundred and sixty three dollars and twenty five cents. That's what Dang. I think. I hope you go over by twenty five cents. <laughs> I hope you get it exactly Bro, that would be fire right and then go over by twenty five right. cents. Well don't worry about her. All right. What's your okay. what's your number? What did Nathaniel say? Huh? What he, did Nate say? He said like six hundred no five hundred oh, I should have and twenty eight or something like that. Right? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go low one, ball one here, dollar. <laughs> and I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna say five twenty five. Five twenty five. Give a little bit of room. The number is one thousand oh! one hundred. KB oh, for the win. Yeah. The and fifteen. That's a lot of moolah. Man, yes. we like yeah. our coffee. It is they they say uh it's around three dollars. A day. I feel like this is a great time to wow. plug the kaiafacoffee.com. Yeah. yeah. Straight up. Way cheaper than great that, man. awakening. Yes. Yeah, dude. Get and your but, subscription. 30 yeah. bucks. But here's the deal. Like, listen, if you want to give a great area to trim, is coffee. That's like, true. it really is a great area to trim. That's up fast, man. Um, um, you know, just homebrew. And homebrew. Make, make this happen. So, uh, all right. So, next question. Are you guys ready? I'm so, KB got that. Yeah. KB got that. You have to go first this time. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. So, an average American spends how much money on their pets a year? Oh. An average American spends mm. how much money on their pets? I think Marcus's year. pets are much more expensive than most. Yeah. yeah. This Dude, number could be pretty baby. diversified. Yeah. According to 2018. 2018. Oh, wow. I think this varies whether you have a bearded dragon or like <laughs> a basset hound. You know what oh. I'm saying? Um, or a cow, like really or expensive cow. cows. Yeah. yeah. Which, okay. which thus the term average. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm. This might be low, but I'm gonna say four hundred and twenty-six dollars and seventy cents. Four hundred and twenty-six dollars and seventy cents a year. Yeah. Is Let that it, too high? Four twenty-six. No, no, just no. I'm cents. just you're, you're, little, that, you're not secure in that. Yes. And if you're at home, what number do you think? Ooh. If you're you know walking through campus driving, what number do you think the average American spends Let's, a year on their pets? Marky Mark. Okay, KB lowball it. I'm gonna highball it. I'm thinking nine hundred fifty-five dollars. Nine hundred and fifty five dollars at home. What do you think? Because the answer is bum, bum, the bum. average American spends. Wait, I went over. Wait, no, wait. Is Nathan not gonna? Oh, Nathan, yeah, just what cut you me got? out of the game, man. Yeah, no, you oh, just yeah, chopped my bad. him out. You my said, bad. "Get out I'm of out. here." Son. I get no, one no, shot. What do you got? One thousand. No, that's, that's my fault. And one dollar. Okay. One thousand and one dollar. Thank you, Nathan. Thank wow. Thank you for that. Okay. Wow, he came so in one thousand like and one dollar, and the answer is one thousand five hundred and fifteen oh, oh, dollars in it was low. twenty eight cents a okay. year. In two thousand eighteen, American overall spent seventy two billion dollars wow. on their pets. Oh, that's, that's, that's a lot of bearded dragons. That's that's a lot of. <laughs> they they say what is it? Seventy percent of America. Seventy <laughs> percent of Americans own a pet. Of some sort. So, wow. all right. And the last question: If you're at home, play along. Okay. Should this be sudden death? Because I mean, I got okay. zero points right now. You got zero points. All right. Um, you got Nathan's Nathan got one. one. And hey, you can. We can tie this. You can. You okay. Can tie good. This. I'm still the winner. Yes. I'm you can tie it. this. All all right. I'm feeling so good. So here it is. All right. The question is. Okay, what does the average American household? Now it's going to household purchase going out to eat on Ooh. 
what do they yeah on going out to eat okay what does the average american household in a year spend going out to eat this is a lot i'm gonna say um Thirteen thousand. Oh, oh thirteen thousand from Nathan. 13. Nathan for a whole household for I a year. I don't yeah, yeah. even make now, that in a year. Going out to eat. Dude. Going out to eat. That is less says, than my minimum wage job American on campus. Pays going out me. to eat. Dude, I'm telling you, man. It's yeah, hot. I think hey. I'm in a different household. <laughs> yeah. I want to be I'm in your saying, household. Yeah, I'm just you're in a single household, man. When you take our family to eat, bro. That's true. Yeah, dude. That's yeah, like twice the Chick Fil A. It adds up. All right, Cara Berry. What do you think? I definitely wasn't thinking thirteen thousand, hey, but dude, yo, what, oh, you, what were you okay. thinking? It's so, weird, you know. You got well, Trump's I'm included true. in now the I'm to up it, but I don't want to up it so high that I lose my point. Uh, hey, dude, you you think? You're... Okay, let's say seven thousand. Okay, yeah. you're saying seven thousand. Wow, Nathan, you, no you, sense you, on that. Now you you psyched everybody out, and now everybody's thinking. They were thinking what like five hundred bucks. Yeah, I literally, saying, I was thinking, how much do I spend a year eating out? I was saying like Average thirteen thousand, my entire salary for the year. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, so let's think. KB seven thousand, Nathan thirteen. I'm gonna split the difference uh -huh. and go seven thousand and one dollar. Seven oh, thousand and one dollars. Here <laughs> goes. That's not splitting the I, I just want to let you know right. that whoever that answers so first. Uh, oh, oh, dude, producer putting up. One dollar, yeah. yeah, one dollar. Hey, the answer is the total household spends three thousand three hundred. Oh gosh, and thirty five. It means KB the wins. First one who she answered, wins. Shoot. Yeah, KB won that. Thus hey, winning the whole competition. They all went over. Nathan went with the high ball and threw everybody That's off. That's right. Yeah. That's much oh my if you are at home, Dude, did Nathan's answer psych you out? Well, you're like. Oh Psych man, I was thinking out. like two thousand, but Nathan came in with thirteen, <laughs> well, with that plush life. <laughs> that plush yeah. life, yeah. Dude. Yo, he's buying. Gotta, yo, he's, he's buying for a whole gang. Yeah, dude, that homie rolled deep. Extra pickles yes. and cheese on those Chick Fil A sandwiches. He's man, going all so out. glad you guys played along. You know, when you think of giving and you think of sacrificial giving, what are areas in your life that maybe, hey, I don't, I don't need to do as much in this, and maybe. I can contribute and be a part and just, you know, represent the identity of Christ in giving a little more. And I yep. really feel these are great areas that we can dissect, look through and say, hey, you know, we can do a better job For in sure. giving and be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Let's yes, go. Yeah. Thanks for listening in this week for just our challenge to you. We'd love to encourage you to just take this step and to give. What are a couple of the ways we can do that? Consider going on feedone.com, supporting a child for $10 a month. Just 10 bucks. It's nice. nothing. We just talked about how much you're spending on coffee. Think about it. Pray yep. about it. Support a child, $10 a month. Guys, you're local missionaries on your campus, global missionaries that you're partnering with through yep. your summer, spring break trips, guys. Just such, so just a little giving can go such a long ways for these people. Yeah, and it can and keep you connected. You know, oh, that's true. Getting those newsletters, yep. and seeing what's happening on the ground, it's yeah. awesome. And you know, uh, a shout out to any local campus ministry. If you are a part, either of a Chi Alpha or another campus ministry, if you're on on a university campus, I, I would say consider giving to them on a regular basis. Yeah. I think. That is extremely helpful. They're on the grounds. They really believe in you. They're already vesting in your campus where you're at. Yep. And I, I would say that is a great way to give. Like, you know, it giving is not a program. It's a heart condition. Licks, like, I'm, I'm going to challenge you guys. Consider lining up your heart yeah. to represent the image of, of God yep. and literally live out a life of giving. That's good. Live out a life and of giving. Yeah, I encourage you just to give, even if it's just five bucks a month, to start with something. Yes. But even if you don't have a lot of discretionary income, give your time. Mm. That's a great way that you can build in that habit of every student gives. There's more than just one way to give. Wow. This is a part. You are a giver. That's right. Walk in that. Wow. We're believing that in you. Awesome. So. Well, that's it for this episode. We will see you next time. This is Nathan. This is Cara Berry. Marcus. Andy. Deuces. Let's go. Adios. Thank you for listening. If you would like to learn more about Chi Alpha's compassion arm, Feed One, go to chialpha.com slash feed one. You can also start supporting a local missionary by going to chialpha.com slash give and clicking on the link under online giving. To sign the manifesto or to find out more information about the movement, please visit welivemissions.com.